everybody. Um, my name is Llewellyn Crosstev, and I am the owner and creator at Warren to Whimsy. And I'm just kind of waiting a minute to see if anybody hops on. Um, I'm also a brand ambassador for the Redesign with Prima team. Oh, I see someone there. Hello, how are you? Hi. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll repeat that. My name is Llewellyn Crosstev, and I am the um, owner and artist at Warren to Whimsy. And I'm also a brand, brand ambassador with Re Redesign um, with Prima. And so uh, I signed up for a live today and I wanted to share with you guys a project that I'm working on while we're here safe at home. So let me scoot this over here. This is what I'm working on. Hi ladies, I see your faces popping up there. Good to see everybody. Hello everybody, go ahead and comment. Um, let me know that you can hear me or if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask um, If I don't see it while I'm live here Then I'll be able to see it later on and I'll come back and answer everything. So today I'm working on a mixed-media project uh, This I've been working on her for a few days now and Yeah, she's kind of a work in progress still and I wanted her to be a bit more whimsical. So um, I went a different way with the skin tone and stuff but for her, I used main, um, pretty much everything is the Art Alchemy Impasto paints for her. You can kind of see these two colors in her skin there. And what I wanted to do is just um, add some stuff to her. I think like I started it here just to make sure that I would, that I knew what I was doing and what look I was going for. But I'm gonna be using adhesive transfers today and then some of the foils over the top of those to give the rest of her some bling. Hi Jenna, hi Joe, and hi Carolyn. I can see that you all are there. I can't see any comments yet, I'm not sure. So go ahead and comment and I'll make sure that I can see them. But I'm just gonna hop right in and get started with the adhesive transfers. Um, I think I'm also gonna put some transfer flowers in her hair. So that's why I didn't really go into do too much detail with her hair yet. So for the adhesive transfer, let me show it to you. I'm using Moroccan Dreams. And these are basically, they're sticky on both sides and then you rub the foil over the top. And they look like, you can see the patterns here on the back, it shows you the patterns. So this one's Moroccan Dreams and I just cut um, pieces out of them. And then, so they're kind of yellow to start with, and they come on their backing. And just like a regular transfer, can you see comments? I, I only posted one, but you apparently don't see it. I don't see any comments. Yeah, I wonder why. Sorry guys, trying to figure out what's going on with the comments, but no, I need your phone to stay down here so I can see them. Okay, so with the adhesive transfer, uh, just like a regular transfer, I'm just going to rub it right on here. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see. Thank you, hon. And you can kind of see um, when it sticks, it'll kind of turn the color of whatever color is underneath it. So like with this one, it's turning purple. I'm going to bring you in a little closer here. There we go. Now you can see better. Okay. And we've got another phone now, so I can see comments and stuff. If you all, if you all have any questions. And I like the adhesive transfers. Um, you can use whatever color foil you want with them. So it kind of, kind of gives you a little bit of versatility with this sort of a transfer. And this one I just cut off a piece to add to the edge of my painting. Hi Valerie, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna get it on there really good. Mm -hmm. 
And um, for my backing, I used a board because that's what I had in my garage. So I just cut up a piece of wood into some squares because everything is closed. So I'm running low on canvas. One second. Oh, there we go. Now I can see you guys. I just had to refresh the screen. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for commenting. So yeah, like I said before, if you have any questions, I'll just keep refreshing my screen so that I can see stuff. Okay, let's see if this is sticking. These ones seem to be pretty. They come off pretty easy and you can tell when they're not. I mean, they come off of the plastic pretty easy. And I kind of wanted it to have a more rustic look, so if there's some parts that stick to the plastic backing, I'm not too worried about it. Hi, Tina. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and there's Jenna. Sorry, just kind of going back through the comments as I do this really quick. Okay, so while I'm doing this and really getting it down, it has these little itty bitty parts like some of the transfers do. Um, I was gonna tell you guys what I used to get the textured look behind my painting. I used uh, the, the stencil fiber paste that you get for the raised stencils. I was kind of just um, wanting to really look into the versatility of some of the products and see what I could do with them. Oh, hi, Roz. Uh, so I used the stencil fiber paste and what I did was you could pretty much make it any color. Um, I mixed it with the paint and then I used a trowel and just kind of got it right on my backing because I really wanted it to have a little bit more texture. I just keep updating it to see all the comments. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And I didn't have any trouble with the transfers going on it. It seemed pretty much like a normal project. And these ones are like double sticky, so they take a little bit to get them off the backing. Okay, so with the adhesive transfer, what you can use over the top, where did it go, is the decor foil. So you just take a piece and it just comes in little sheets. Refresh everything to see more comments. Yeah, Roz, I love these trans the adhesive ones too. They're really fun. And the fact that you can use them with all the colors of foil makes it fun too. Oh, hi, Linda. Hi, everybody. Okay, so when you take the foil, you put it up and you just stick it on your adhesive transfer with the shiny part towards you because it will come off of the film that it's on too. And then you just rub it, just like you would the other transfers. And you can see, you can see the pattern start to show through and that's where it's sticking. So there we go, you can see it. I'm 
and I haven't actually used the adhesive transfers very many times. Um, I used them a couple other times, but uh, my thing was mainly I was looking for a project or projects where I could use just kind of the extra things that I have around right now. Because if you're buying a transfer, a lot of times you'll have those little extra pieces and what do you do with them? You know, you can't do a whole piece of furniture with just a couple of flowers. So I wanted to find good ways to use my little extra pieces and my leftovers. Okay. I think this is pretty close now too. Oh, now I can see the comments on my own phone, finally. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Callie. Oh, thank you for sharing it, Roz. Okay, so as you go, after you're done, look how beautiful that turned out. I mean, that is gorgeous. I love it. And it stuck really well. If there are any little pieces where you see yellow, you can go right back over it with a part of uh, the foil that you didn't use, like right along the edge here. And you, I just scratch it right on there. It'll rub it with your little stick. So like there's a, an area over here that didn't quite get all of the foil on it because I didn't rub it as well. And if you have any sticking, just get back on there and rub it better. <laughs> gorgeous. That adds so much to this already. And I think I'm probably going to go in and do, not sure if I'll do it right now, but I probably will use a different adhesive transfer. And this one was called, sorry, I'm looking over here, Nature and Scripts. I believe it's that one. I have a few of them and just do some of the scripted wording, like down in here. But to kind of tone it down, I was going to use the wax over the top of it as well. So let me get my little, I have so many supplies stacked up here, sorry guys. So this is the Art Alchemy metallic wax that I'm gonna be using, and it's aged brass. And then I'm just using my really well-used redesign brush for it. This is just the natural hair brush. And I tried it on the other corner. I really liked it. But I wanted it to kind of just blend it out and make it so that it wasn't quite as bright. I guess you can't see it as well on the camera. But on my end, if you look at it from, maybe if I change the angle, it blends it out a little bit and just kind of brings it to life. All of the texture that I have on there too, you can really see it with the wax. I don't want to get too close to her right now with the wax because I will be continuing to paint her face. Um, her neck and her back aren't really done yet. I think I'm close with her face though. Thank you, Tina, and thanks, Roz. And do I, am I pronouncing your name right? Is it Bizzle? Thank you also. Okay, so next on my list is gonna be her crown. I've been seeing a lot of people do the really fun flower crowns on the tops. Like if you draw the face looking down and there's her head is just covered in flowers. So I kind of wanted to do something like that with her since she is my fun while I'm at home project. And what I picked today to do her flower crown is I used little pieces from the Hello Baby transfer. It has these really cute, almost like a watercolor flowers on it. Sorry about the wiggles. I keep having to refresh to see all my comments. Okay. So for placement, 
And you just put them here. And I did her hair white so you'd really see the flowers so they'd stand out on her really well. Get my, drop my stick. There we go. I was also thinking a fun one for the mixed media project would be like if you painted a vase on something and then you did a few stems going up and just did, I don't know if someone's done this. Someone may have already done this, but if you just did a bunch of like gorgeous flowers coming out of it and then, you know, you could do a textured back background or you could do just about anything. You could do some fun stenciling on the background. Those raised stencils, those are some of my favorites because then you can really bring out the texture of the stencil. Okay, so we're just rubbing this little, these little flowers on from Hello Baby. And that Hello Baby transfer is adorable. But if you were using it in a little boy's room, you would have all these little flowers left over if you decided not to use them. So here's a fun use. Oh, everybody keeps commenting. Thank you all. You did the, Roz, you did it last week with the vase. I must have missed that one. <laughs> That's funny. Usually when there's a project, it's like someone's, someone's done it or thought of it. Especially in the design team. Bunch of talented ladies. Okay, and just to make sure it's coming off, I'm going to peel it away slowly. I don't see any, no sticking. I think I had a bit more of an issue with the more textured areas than I, than I do with this. I left her face and her skin area really smooth. Make sure you guys, can you guys see all of that? It shows it all on my phone, so... And just rub it in. Make sure there's no lifting. And now on to the next one. She's looking pretty good. I love the addition of these flowers. This is perfect. Oh, thank you, Caroline. And see you on there watching. Let's see. I think I should put them. I did want them mostly covering her hair. Kind of making like she's wearing a crown. Not just a couple pinned in there, but a whole crown. There we go. Thank you, Linda. She's looking pretty good. And this has, this one's been fun for me. I, I haven't painted very many faces. And usually when I do, they're really, really small, like just a portion of the bigger scene of a painting. So this is really like, this was big and close up. I really enjoyed painting her. And then for the flowers, it's fun to just be able to add something on there without having to um, worry about the details so much. And you know they're going to look beautiful already. And you can overlap the transfers like I did right here. They usually don't have any issues when, they, when they're overlapped. Um, at least I haven't so far had any issues. And just came right off. Looks good. All right. And then I think I will add one more on here on the top.
We got a little pink one up here. Yes, no, I'm trying to decide, <laughs> deciding as I go along. I'm thinking yes. Okay, we'll put it on there. can always tell that it's ready when it kind of pops away like that too like it just did or if you peel it back a little bit a lot of times if I'm doing a bigger one I will get a little bit of a bubble as I go along where the plastic bubbles away from the transfer and as you move down you'll slowly just go along with the bubble and that's how it will show you that it's ready to lift away. This one's obviously ready. <laughs> Popping right up. All right. Oh, she looks so pretty now. That was the, that Hello Baby transfer went on perfectly. Well, let's see. I think I have time maybe to do a little bit more of the script with the adhesive transfer. A little piece and I'm thinking I'll put it right here to add some more. I'm kind of measure really quick, hold it up and just kind of eyeball it. I don't want it going over her yet. Sorry guys, just cutting them out like you normally would the scissors. Okay. And I'll get one more adhesive transfer at least on there. That might be a little bit long, but I'll just move it over like this. So you just take the transfer, and this is the adhesive one, so they come yellow to begin with, and peel it away from the wax backing paper. And put it on like this. And it might not want to stick to the areas that I have waxed, but that's okay. Um, it can stick everywhere else, and I won't worry about those too much. Because I've peeled little pieces of this off before. And when I got it somewhere I didn't want it, wasn't a big deal. And there's also different colors of foils you can use over these too. You know, I have a, what color is it? A blue foil. There's quite a few colors you can use too, so it does have a lot of variety with the adhesive transfers as well. There were gray, gray colored foils and ones that were more black, all kinds of colors. My easel is not made for this normally. I would just do this flat on the table, but I wanted you all to be able to see, okay. peel from this side because that's kind of where I started and if it looks like it's not coming off just lay it down again 
and rub it again right there. No big deal. Some of these little corners are kind of hard to get, so you just lay it back down and rub it again. And I didn't want it to stick over by the wax. There we go. Kind of just pulling it away from my edges. There we go, I really like that. So even if it's not all the way on there, I'm not gonna try and stick it down with my fingers right now because it is so sticky. I'm just gonna grab another foil sheet. And these ones go on this way. You're rubbing on a thin film that is over the foil. And then the foil will stick to the adhesive transfer. Oops, sorry about that noise there. so that I can push harder. kind of going over a rough surface with this so it's taking a bit more a bit more rubbing with that little corner but you can see again when it's starting to stick and come off of the film you can see the outline of the letters and then you just pull it away And it's all shiny and gorgeous. Okay, so like I said before, if you miss a spot, don't worry too much about it. Just pick an area that you haven't used yet on your foil, put it back on there, and rub again. And voila, ah, it's all in there. Okay, you guys, that pretty much wraps up uh, what I was going to do today. I think really the only thing I have left to do is go back and finish up my paint with her, which as I said before, I used the Art Alchemy Impasto paints for her. So she's all um, Prima products this time around. And then I'm probably just going to go through once she's all done and do like a dry rub sort of a wax all the way around her. You can kind of see it and bring out some of that texture that I got. So as I said before, also for the backing, I mixed the 3D fiber stencil fiber paste. And I'm sorry that my, my phone is backwards. It won't flip around. So I mixed the 3D stencil fiber paste with paint and then just used a little trowel and put it on there to give it that good texture. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Llewellyn, and I am the artist and creator at Worn to Whimsy. So go ahead and, if you like today, give me a follow. And you all stay safe and have a wonderful week. Thank you. Bye.